Hi, Dawn here. How are you today? So I have some fun design tricks for you to start 2023 to help you with your health. Okay. There is so many things you can do to improve your health through the design of your spaces, your house, your office, your car. Uh, so I'm going to give you some tricks today on how to do that. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because I get calls all the time about people wanting to improve their health. They're depressed, they're anxious, or they're sick all the time and they're tired of it. <laughs> so um, I thought this would be a good day to share some easy, easy tips on how to improve your health through your design. Okay, so the first thing that you can do to improve your health is to declutter. Get rid of things that you aren't using anymore. Get rid of things that do not bring you joy. This is a big one. The, the joy items, the, this is a big, big deal. I go into people's homes and they have things that they don't remember where it came from. It doesn't really make them happy. It doesn't give them any feelings either way, good or bad, or it's something from the past that they don't really want to be a part of anymore, if that makes sense. So these kinds of items should really be gifted away or thrown away, okay, or donated, right? You throw it away, you gift it away, or you donate it, okay? Because everything in your space takes up energy and it takes up your energy. So don't you want everything in your space to make you happy and not cause feelings of depression or sickness, sickness, things like that? So take a look at your items, you know, stop just passing by them and ask yourself, does that item make me happy? And it's everything in your house. It's your artwork, it's your blankets, it's your towels, it's your kitchen utensils, it's your clothes, it's everything. Everything underneath your bathroom cabinet. So take a look. If it doesn't bring you joy, if it doesn't make you smile, if you're not using it, give it away, throw it away, or donate it away. Another thing I see is um, plants. Plants that um, are dead or dying. Um, or that you're trying to bring back to life and it's been like a year. <laughs> so I see this all the time. It's so funny. So any plants, any plants that are dead and dying, haven't come back, it's okay to retire the plants, okay? Tell them thank you and put them in the trash and find yourself another plant or not, right? Just um, dead plants in our spaces is um, especially bad for our health, okay? And then regarding plants, you wanna have um, soft petaled plants in your health gua of your home. This means no rose bushes, no aloe vera, no cacti. Um, certain succulents are appropriate and su certain succulents are not. So make sure that you don't have any pointy um, thorny plants in your health section of your house. Okay. So, um, I, I don't see that very much. Oh, and it can even be pointy plants that are, I don't even know what they're called. They're, they have long leaves and they're pointy and they're, they're tall. They're, they're erect, tall stems. Um, but don't have those in your, in your, um, health gua. Okay. Another thing, do not sleep with cell phones, computers, iPads next to your bed, okay? That's EMF energy, electromagnetic fields of energy. It causes disruption in our brains and it's been proven to cause depression, anxiety, all that. So I know so many of us use our cell phones for our alarm clock. Oh, the other thing is um, 
take off your Apple watches when you go to bed, unless you're doing a sleep study. But if you're not doing a sleep study anymore and you know your sleeping patterns, then take off the watch also, okay? Because that's EMF energy as well. So we want to let our bodies shut down when we sleep so that we can recover and really go into a nice deep sleep, okay? So no computers, no iPads, no cell phones by your bed. Let me get back to the, the alarm. If you use your cell phone as an alarm, uh, that's okay. Put it on the floor. Don't put it on the nightstand. Put the cell phone on the floor away from your head, as far away from your head as you can. It's actually better to have it outside of the room um, and just turn your alarm up. Turn all your other notifications off so that you don't hear them when you're sleeping. Um, and just turn your alarm up, okay? But yeah, please don't don't sleep with all that by your by by your bed. And then also, don't, I see this I, I see this often as well. Electrical cords, you know those extension cords where you can plug in like two to six additional electronics, you know, lamps, clocks, iPads, all that. Those are right by people's heads as well. No, don't do that. That is so bad. Get the extension cords, get the extenders out of your bedroom. Not good. You don't need that much electrical activity in your bedroom, okay? Your bedroom is not for that. Your bedroom is for sleep and connection, intimate time, right? It's not for all that electricity. So please get it away, get it outside of the bedroom, okay? Um, and then lastly, this is diving into feng shui and design. Um, a great way to improve your health is by honoring your power direction, which was given to you at birth, okay? It's called Eight Mansions Feng Shui. I will put a link in here so you can figure out your element and um, learn your power directions, okay? There's East Group people and there's West Group people. So East Group people, honor four certain power directions. They honor south, north, east, and southeast. And then west group people honor northeast, northwest, southwest, and west. So in order to learn your element, I'll put the link in here, and you can plug in your birthday because it's given to you from your date of birth, <coughs> excuse me. If you honor those power directions, it's to the way that your eyes look, when your eyes are open and then for your bedroom position it's the top of your head so like your headboard your headboard should be on a power wall so that you sleep well and you're honoring your power direction it allows your cells to rejuvenate much faster than if you're not honoring your power direction so lots of great tips here to improve your health for 2023 design tips, super easy design tips. I think they're easy. Hopefully you will think they're easy and try one, try them all and let me know how you feel. I want, cause it all, it's all about feeling good, right? We want to feel good. So um, give it a shot and let me know if you have questions. Have a great day.